okay so i don't have any any buckets now created let's create the bucket using a cloud cell command if you go to top here this is the icon you can activate your cloud cell okay so once you click on that you will get this kind of editor open editor you can open this editor in a new window because this is a very small screen you cannot work here and not be comfortable so let's open the editor in a new screen so here i can open my editor okay so uh, right now if you can see it's already by default it's showing my project uh, root script 35 i think this is the this is my project id not the project if if uh, your project id is not showing here or you want to work in another project so it's showing like you can save your project using this gcloud command okay let's say you have created two three different project and you want to work in a particular project so you can also using this gcloud command you can save your project okay now uh, let's create a bucket okay so if you see i'll go to the official website here okay i'll take the command from here let's create a bucket because i don't remember i remember of the command but i don't remember all the exact command so if you come here this is how you can do it in the console this is how you can do it in in your in the bucket uh in the using not in bucket using cli okay so this is the command uh if i if to create a uh, bucket g mainly we use gs util just remember whenever you are working with cloud storage we use gs util so if i copy here this is the command let's say i copied this command and i go to my bucket i paste it here so remember this is the command gs util mb this is the command we use to create a bucket and i can give my some bucket name let's say my gcp uh, some random number and let's say two, two, two. let's create the bucket showing authorize to cloud sim uh, so just click on authorize now it will create a bucket so you can see the message it's creating a bucket okay so now if i go to my web console uh, just refresh this page you will be able to see this is the bucket right just now we created using uh, the gs util command and if i go to the bucket i have not stored any any object inside this bucket but i can see the bucket properties the configuration it's showing by default it will it will create a multi-region bucket yesterday we created a region bucket by default to create a multi-region bucket in us region and uh, this is the bucket uh, that you can access the bucket right now we have not stored anything uh, so let's store something here inside the bucket So in order to store something, let's first, uh, if you see inside my uh, cloud cell, I don't have, I have only one image. This is the image I have, I have put it on the cloud cell. So what we'll do, I'll, if you don't have, if you also want to uh, upload any image on your bucket, what you can do, you can just go here, upload any image. Okay, you can choose your file from your laptop, from anywhere, from, from your local system, you can upload any image. I have already uploaded, so I will not upload it again. But you can upload it here and you can store the uh, image here on the cloud cell first. And then you can use the gsutil command. So let's go to here and uh, create a storage bucket, upload, let's say, upload, upload. Do we have any options? Bucket. What put bucket rename upload on image? So if I go to here, so this is the command. Okay, so this is the command GS util CP command I'll use to upload an object to this bucket. Okay, so let's copy this GS util CP and here if I go, so I'll upload this image. Uh, since I have already uploaded to cloud, cloud shell, 
I will not upload it, but you can go here and you can upload the image from your local system to the cloud cell. Once it is available in cloud cell, so what you can do, uh, so let's, let's go to the syntax. So it's showing cloud CP, then uh, object location. Okay, so if I go to my location, my object location is BMW. Okay, just type BMW and tab. Uh, automatically, it will uh, take the, uh, the name of this object. Okay, and then after that, in which pocket you are, you are going to upload it to that pocket name. So my pocket name is my GCP. Uh, this is the my pocket name. I'll put that pocket name. Just write my GCP and then uh, tab it will automatically create this pocket name okay so this is the command and if i press enter so now you can see it's copying my file to this pocket right so is this now file already exists in local already exist in local Exi exist in local means already exist in my computer okay file means you can download any file from your computer but before yeah. uploading to the bucket, you will have to upload into the cloud shell. And uh, you can upload to cloud shell. If you go to this upload, you can upload. Uh, so if you, you can choose any files which you want to upload, and then you can upload it to cloud shell. Okay. So I have already uploaded. That is what I am saying. I have already uploaded this file earlier. So that's why I'm not uploading again. But if you go to cloud shell and simply if you click on upload, choose files you can upload any file from your local system okay whether it's a csv file or any image file you can upload it it's not uh, you can upload any files like um, any number of files also you can upload also you can upload the folders as well you can see the option here at the files folder you can upload okay and uh, yeah so yeah what is MB? What is MB here? You are given util MB, right? What is the meaning of uh, MB and the I, like options you are given right while creating bucket? What is that MB? MB is uh, I think you make buckets. Just just it's just okay, 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 util. Yeah, okay, okay, I understand. So CP is per command. Uh, yes, copy. yes, yes. Okay. Unix command. So if you have word, if you have worked with, with cell script or HDFC command, if you know this, this is similar to HDFC almost. Okay, so yes. if you know about SDFC command, uh, SDFC also in SDFC we have also CP command and MD command, rename command. So all these commands are also there in SDFC. Okay, so we have uploaded the uh, image here. Let's go to the image. Uh, let's refresh the bucket. Now inside this bucket, if you see earlier it was empty. Right now I have uploaded this image. And this is the location. So this is the authenticated URL using which I can also access that image. And this is the image which I uploaded just now. Okay. And if so see, this bucket can be given access to a particular user also. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so even you can also access this bucket. Right now, uh, I don't think, yeah, it's not having the not public access. But once I give the public access, even using this URL, whoever has this URL, they can also access this bucket. Right now, since on this- How to make it public? How to make it public? I'll, I'll do that. So right now, I will control that access. Don't worry about that. Uh, uh right now only uh, since i have logged into this uh, account so that's why i'm i'm, I'm only uh, able to access this uh, object this is the object okay that un understand just uh, if this is an object we are storing inside a bucket so if i want to access also from external uh window let's say if i want to access from here i will not be able to access okay right now i'm able to access I think I have given the. I don't think you will be able to access, uh, but it's not public. Yes, yes, we cannot access. You can access, yes. So can you try to access? I don't think you will be able. To, but I should not be able to access. Uh, so if I give you this URL link, 